Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick Outlook tip of the day. Today's tip is how to remove the warning from the subject line if you didn't put a subject in there. So I'll show you right here real quick. I'm not going to put a subject line in. I'm going to type a little content and hit send. And this pop-up comes up. Now, I actually like this pop-up, but if you don't want that pop-up here, you can uh, actually remove it quite quickly with these instructions. And I'm going to tell you where I found them. I had someone ask me how to do this actually, and I found Diane's uh, blog here at Slipstick very helpful. She always puts up a lot of these neat tips and tricks. So how to disable Outlook's no subject warning. And she got permission from Peter Marchert to uh, republish this. And I'm going to put that in my notes as well. This is not my content, but the video I think will be helpful for people. So the first thing you need to do is take all this code here that I've copied, start there to there, right click and copy it. Then what you need to do is go into Outlook and up here I have the developer tab, but that's not common for folks, but you need to hit the alt button on your keyboard and the F11 and the visual basic editor for Outlook will pop up. Now this is not that scary to do, but you need to um, open up these little arrows over here to get to this Outlook session and double click that. And then you paste that code exactly in there. Then you come over here and close it, go up here and close that. Then back here in Outlook, you go to File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center again, Macro Settings, Enable All Macros, and hit OK. And hit OK again. Then you go back up to Outlook and close it. So it's kind of like connects it. You're going to save the project. Then you go open up Outlook again. I happen to have many profiles, so I have to prompt for the one. Yours will probably just open to yours. And now if you go to new email and oops, I don't want that email. Hold on. At least I call that girl biz and skip the subject, hit test, send. Now you don't get the prompt. So, you know, that's an easy way to fix it. It's uh, not as difficult as it, you know, it might appear to people. It's not that scary. I did it twice and the second time it worked for me. So you're not going to, you know, do anything else to the back end of Outlook at all. And just remember that if you want to read the instructions, go to my notes at the bottom and you can follow along here as well. There's other people that also have chatted down below and uh, you can actually ask Diane questions over here as well in her site there. If you happen to need me for this uh, job or for any other Outlook work, you can call me at 612-865-4475 or you can email me at lisa at callthatgirl.biz. Thank you and I hope this fix worked for you.